Hi, happy Thanksgiving. This is Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. Um, today, I just wanted to say thank you to all of our off-grid and on-grid customers that have made us a successful business. And I wanted to share with you a video clip of what it is like to make too much power. So for those of you, I've got 15 emails today from people that have bought stuff from other places that don't work and you're not making any power. And you know, I get, you know, from the gallery on YouTube, uh, show us you're making power, show us you're making power. Well, I'm going to just share with you a small clip what it's like a day in my world when we're making too much power and we're trying to slow things down. Um, okay, so what we have here is a video clip where we're maxing out a 63 amp controller, 24 volt battery environment. So, you know, it, if you can stop and think about it, you know, volts times amps equals watts, you know, on a 48 volt system, if we did this 48 times 63, you do the math. I guess we could advertise our wind turbine at four or 5,000 watts too. However, we know that, um, well, a lot of you know firsthand that a lot of those things you're looking at don't do anything like this. So. For those of you that are skeptical that you can make power with a small wind turbine, this video clips for you and we'll have more to come. Okay, we are recording a Hurricane Wind Power White Lightning Vector Wind Turbine, 24 volt. And as you can see, we're getting 1,584 watts. We've got a pretty strong wind today. There's 974. Our wind, there's 1596. Our wind, and look at those amps. I mean, we're up into the top of this classic 250, um, you know, which is 63 amps. And I mean, we're pushing the upper limits. Right now, I've got a diversion load that's turned on. This particular classic has got a problem with the AUX2 port, but fortunately, my parallel uh, battery array is set up there's 1560 in watts is set up 1645 thank you tony at hurricane wind 1645 look at that 61 amps 1645 watts at 168 volts now that is a small wind turbine on steroids that's a machine oh my goodness look at that 168 volts oh I think what just happened, I'm going to go out and double check, but I think what just happened is I lost my uh, circuit breaker that goes uh, for the input voltage. Let's just run over there and take a look inside the cabinet. It's a little bit dark. Yep, we lost the breaker on the DC out. You can see that we are diverting to our diversion load. That's coming off of the PV. The PV is set for uh, the diversion because there's a problem with AUX2. We'll go ahead and reset this breaker on the 250. Classic 250 coming online here as soon as the voltage will drop enough. It's a, oh, there goes our breaker. I'm going to have to turn the diversion load off. And we'll get the aux up. And turn. Diversion high off. And we want to go diversion high. And write that in. Okay. Manual off. Box two.
So, sorry about that. We've got diversion high output now on automatic. You can see that we've lost that going into there. This breaker is a 70 amp breaker. And the way that I've got it wired up is just pulling a little too much current. Let's get this classic back online. It to go through its routine. And we can see our battery bank's down to 25 volts, so the diversion was doing its thing. And we're still resting. Now we have slowed that thing down to almost nothing. 